Phoenix Fire, talk to the audience a little bit about what you do at Phoenix Fire. What drew you that direction to be a firefighter? How do you balance being a firefighter and an offensive line coach and pouring into kids? It can't be easy. Um, it, I'm definitely busy. It's, it's funny because every time I talk to people about um, you know what I do, because um, I'm also a substitute teacher, so my days off, I'm off shift. I'm a substitute teacher. Um, you know, office line coach, you know, firefighter on shift. Um, I'm extremely blessed, man, because I is there's people that I know would love to trade places with me. I mean, I, I could be somebody that has absolutely nothing going on in my life and trying to find a direction or whatever. And, you know, I, I've, uh, I was fortunate enough to, um, you know, get into firefighting. It's been eight years, it'll be eight years in July. Uh, just recently promoted the engineer. Uh, so I get to drive big red truck around and um that's that every every day i go to that job man it's 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 a, it's I'm, i don't know i i can't put it into words because um i wasn't a kid that dreamed about being a firefighter as a kid it was something that came about as an adult and and i and in in the you know grand scheme of things it's something i never thought i'd be capable of doing you know i never imagined myself driving a fire truck but you know i never imagined myself in a fire uniform just the whole this this whole thing is 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 a dream come true um it's a testament to, to hard work dedication and you know everything that we talk about um you know regards to to life and regards to football um so i just i'm i'm thankful for my successes man i know i've worked my tail off for him and and uh you know i i had a kid yesterday casey tucker um uh, played for me uh played with my son a number of years ago and he tweeted out that he's never seen me take my foot off the gas pedal. And I told him, I go, you know, I, I never saw him do it either. He goes, well, I had to learn it from somewhere. So it's just, I just try to be an example to the kids, man. I, I'm not perfect by any stretch, but um, I do try to, I try to walk the walk. And, uh, you know, I tell the kids, I don't, I don't, I don't make you do anything or put you through anything that I haven't already been through. Uh, you know, my job is as a coach, um, you know, it's bigger in this day and age because, um, you know, it was it was like that when I was a kid. But I think it's even more so now because the kids have so many outside influences. But as a football coach, you know, you're a you're a surrogate father, you're a mentor, um, you're 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 in addition to, um, you know, the parents. They, they say it takes a village to raise a child. And uh, I just try to be a positive influence, man, and, and, and actually, you know, be an active, active example of working hard and, 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 and dreaming, dreaming high and setting your goals and, and attaining things. So yeah, man, I'm just blessed. Frank Cush lifetime achievement coaching award, the first ever assistant coach to receive it. Tell me about that. <laughs> I mean, that's, I don't even know what to say. It's, it's, it's definitely an honor because I know that it goes normally to a head football coach. Um, I, I'm I'm just thankful everybody appreciates my effort. Um, again, I, I I love kids. Um, I love football. Um, you know, without football, it just I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. I wouldn't have a college degree. Um, you know, I wouldn't have a career as a firefighter. I wouldn't be a football coach. I wouldn't. You know, football has made everything happen for me. And, and uh, you know. It, it's just it's 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 a blessing, man. It, I'm I'm I'm, as you can tell, I'm just kind of speechless. It's just it it means the world to me because, again, you know, it goes to uh, normally a head coach, and he's the guy who's the the guy whose face is out there. You know, the the head coach is the he's the he's the primary voice on Friday night, and you know, he's the guy on Saturday morning. That, you know, his name's in the paper because he's the guy who leads the program, and and uh, I'm I'm thankful that that people have recognized my, uh, recognized my work and, and uh, they appreciate it. And I'm just, like I said, I'm, I'm just humbled, man. It, it, it means a lot. Congratulations on the award, Mark. Thank you. I appreciate it.